We begin tonight with the continued rebound of a community devastated by the 2016 floods. This week, Clendenin is hosting an event for the first time since those floodwaters came through their town. 13 News reporter Hannah Getz joins us now live in Clendenin with more. Hannah. Well, Jennifer, flood recovery looks different everywhere you go in the Mountain State, but tonight here in Clendenin, it looks like a Little League All-Star game. Now, Clendenin was chosen to host this year, and the last time they did so was just one week before the 2016 floods hit. Teams from Clendenin to Boone will play with hopes of an All-Star title. But just three years ago, this field was in the hole. The 2016 floods took out their indoor practice facility and left their field underwater. The new and improved field sits next to the old Clendenin Elementary and serves as an oasis for the kids of the town. To some, this might look like just another baseball game, but for the people who have been on this long road to recovery, it means so much more. When Clendenin played Elk District uh, yesterday, I mean, this this state this facility was full. It was packed, and to set up in the press box and look down and see. The amount of people here, the kids roaming around outside the fence, and then to have our two community teams here playing on this field was was very, like, uh, had a lot of pride. This year, without the elementary school, the Clendenin Little League still has over 100 kids participating. The president of the board hopes that when people travel here for the tournament, they'll see the town's progress and help put Clendenin back on the map. Opening ceremony starting about 45 minutes, so we'll have a live update for you at 6. Reporting live in Clendenin, I'm Hannah Getz, 13 News, working for you.